Hi Cancer, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 23rd through the 30th. We're doing a quick look at your week. What's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Please be sure to check your Moon and Rising signs as well. They, If this does not resonate at all, one of them may. Um, and it may give you a different perspective on what's going on or something else in your life as well. Cancer. We're going to do three cards for the past, three for the present, three for the future, along with clarifiers where needed and what is holding you back and spirits guidance for you. Okay, there it is. Two, three. Can you guys see these? No. All right, hold on. Hold on. There we go. No, well, you're still not seeing all of them, but you know what? That's as good as it's going to get, I'm afraid. Put that over there. Stay. Thank you. And on the bottom, Justice card. Balance could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. So in the past, we had Page of Wands, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Looking at what you had and making a decision to move forward. Presents, Five of Cups, Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords. Cancer, I have decided that because of you guys, the Seven of Swords is much more about reflection and trying to come to understandings. Because you guys get this card all the time. And I don't believe that you guys are necessarily all liars and thieves. And I think this is much more about gaining clarity. Your understanding a sad situation. What is that noise? It's the fan. You guys are coming to an understanding about what's going on and what a burden it actually is and what you can do about it. Let's see our future cards. Five of Wands, Star card, good. And Page of Swords. Inner conflict about healing a situation. Are you spying on someone? Is someone spying on you? Are you gathering information? Let's see what this Five of Cups was in the past. Or, I'm sorry, in the present. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Temperance. Sagittarius. Page of Swords again. Six of Wands. You looked into something and found that, and found information that gave you a burden. That's what's happening right now. You found information and you feel like it's very heavy. And you're not sure what to do with that information now. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck, getting information. Okay. Let's see what this Five of Wands is in your future, shall we? Five of Wands for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. April 23rd through the 30th. What's the Five of Wands, please? Nine of Swords. 
Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands again. You're having mental conflict, definitely. You're not releasing something. It's mental conflict. It's, it's a burden for you to keep. What's the star card? You know I'm dying to get to the Page of Swords, but star card is Nine of Cups. Your happiness, which is a star card. Star card can be Aquarius. Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, Knight of Rods. Happiness, healing past a heartbreak and moving forward. But I, I want to see what this Page of Swords is. What's this Page of Swords? Two of Rods, the Tower, and the Death card. And Five of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, you're looking into something, and it brings a tower and a change. Now, towers are not always bad guys, all right? Don't think that the tower is always a bad thing. This is Scorpio and Aries, and this is Scorpio. Definitely looking into something is going to be bringing a change. You're going to be, be prepared for information coming in. That's going to help you change how you see something. And you're going to take action on building on that change to bring balance. Because remember, your overall card over here is the Justice card. So we got into that. Seeing what you've put in. There's the Nine of Swords again. Now, I did do your cards earlier um but it turned out i didn't have the camera on so yay we have the four of cups this was in the other reading four of pentacles was also in the other reading and three of pentacles was also in the other reading and that was in your past you went in to build on what you already had but presently it's just not it doesn't seem to be working You've got conflict, you're needing to heal, and you're going to be finding a new perspective on something. I'm surprised that um, the hangman isn't here. Yeah, this this is about your ace of, ace of cups, ten of cups. Four of Wands. This is about a home situation or a job. This is about your foundation. This is about coming together. But Four of Pentacles again. This is definitely about something foundational for you. You're feeling like it's more of a burden. You're not sure what to do to bring in the happiness. There's your Four of Wands again. You're not sure what to do to bring in your happiness about... Your foundation, your stability. Two of Cups again. Emotional happiness, emotional stability. You're not sure. You're confused, Cancer. Okay, you need to be the Emperor. You need to be the Emperor. Now, last reading, I could have sworn you guys were finding some major backbone and standing up and focusing on yourselves. Page of Pentacles, caught in your head, thinking about it, not moving forward, anxiety on how to move forward in an emotional situation, through emotions, to bring in, oh, this is either Pisces or you, to bring in, to bring you back to yourself, Cancer. To bring balance back into yourself. You don't have that right now. You're, you're, you're feeling depleted. Very depleted. And defensive. 
and but you have the inner strength okay you have the inner strength you have the inner wisdom the inner knowledge to know what's going to make you happy to know what's going to bring you victory to move you forward at a high rate of speed for your happiness towards your abundance look you're the magician you're the flipping magician think about what's going to bring change the tower again you want to make a change cancer you want to make a change here you're feeling pulled to make a change two of cups again again i don't remember if it's out here or not i remember oh it was in the other deck that this was in your past reading king of cups you want that two of cups feeling you want to have control over your emotions you want to have control over your stability you want to have control over being you you want to feel nurtured you want to feel loved you hate that your path is not clear that your new beginning is stalled. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Oh, where was the Three of Pentacles? I thought I saw the Three of Pentacles next. Oh, there's the Ace of Pentacles over there. You really want something new. You're tired of the of, of being caught in your head in the Five of Swords. Okay. You want that Ten of Pentacles. You want the clarity and the happiness. You want that Ace of Cups. Is it a Queen of Swords that you're wanting? Hmm? Is it because you can't have her? Is that what this is? The Marriage. The Foundation. King of Rods. Movement Forward. Decisive action is needed for that Ace of Cups. Okay. Let's see what's holding you back from, from, from this. Oh, Cancer. Cancer's confused. You need to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe that no matter what is going on around you, that you are capable, Cancer. You are worthy and you are capable. Now, if it's someone specific or a specific job, we can't control others. You're not trusting your intuition. What's holding cancer back? You're not trusting your intuition, cancer. Your intuition is your gut, okay? If you think about something... And it tears your stomach up. There's more to it. All right, Cancer. You're lacking in trust and faith. Go back to the beginning and simplify things. Yep. Go back. Regain your innocence. Simplify. You have the wisdom within you. All right. You don't think that you have the clarity. You have the clarity. You need to have faith. You need to trust and have faith in your intuition because you do actually know. You do actually know. What truly makes you happy is not another person or a job or a place. They help. Yes. I'm not saying that they don't. They do. But that's not where true happiness is. True happiness is found within. All right. You need to have faith in yourself, Cancer. You can do whatever you want. Cancer is one of the greatest magicians that there is, which is a good thing. What's Spirit's advice? King of Earth. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. 
You can make anything you want. You can have anything you want here. You are lacking confidence. Confidently move. Confidently decide. The magician, I told you. I told you. You're ready. You have the resources and ability to manifest. Life is magical. This is you, Cancer. This is you, okay? You're the magician. Decide what you want. Finally, Queen of Earth. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. No matter what you decide, be kind to yourself and others. Okay, Cancer? Page of Fire, news of an exciting new adventure. Use your originality and ingenuity. Now, Cancer, in the past, I have seen that you guys turn down opportunities that would take you forward because you don't think that you're good enough or you don't think that that's that it would be okay for you to take the opportunities. Take the opportunities, Cancer. They're there for you. Spirit, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, is bringing you opportunities, but you keep turning them down. Okay? If someone keeps asking you out and you keep telling them no, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to stop asking you out. Right? Okay. One more. Three of fire, abundance, things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make your long-term plans. Cancer, start making your long-term plans, okay? There's abundance all around you. You just have to find it. And at the bottom, of course, we have the ton of cups. Contented and rewarding life, emotional and material needs met, and trustworthy partnerships. Is that what you want? Go after it. You can have whatever it is you want, Cancer. It's there for you. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for you for April 23rd through the 30th. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like. Peace to you. Ciao.